Hi, I'm John, and welcome back to Dice Paper Miniatures. Well, it's Thursday, so it must be Horus Heresy Preview Thursday. We have a cool new vehicle preview for today, so let's begin. So for today's Horus Heresy Preview, we have a new plastic Sakaran tank model. So let's go ahead and start this off with this new video. Yeah, to be fair, we actually, if you watch the Warhammer Fest 2022 announcement, this was technically spoiled at that time, but this is the official preview from GW. It's a super cool looking tank. I think this is definitely a must have if you play Horus Heresy for sure. Yeah, fantastic. Painted really well, too. I dig that GW is kind of embracing some of the more weathered and texture type paint styles into their heavy metal studio. So, very cool. Let's see what they have to say about this specifically. Originally designed by Robut Gilliman and Ferris Manus, the Sakaran featured elements from a number of STCs to create a high speed destroyer tank to complement the Predator and Land Raider. Thanks to its incredible speed, it can outflank slower vehicles and bring its accelerator autocannon to bear on the weaker side and rear armor of the enemy war machines. These loadouts are awesome. So beyond the giant autocannon, this new plastic kit comes with more weapons than you can shake a stick at. You can choose from the heavy bolters, las cannons, heavy flamers, or volkite calverins as sponson weapons. And there is a choice of combi weapons, a havoc launcher, a multi melta, a heavy bolter, or a heavy flamer as a pintle mounted weapon. Wow, right on. I'm really curious how those uh, those volkite weapons will do. I'm definitely interested in those. So it goes on. With so many weapon options, you can build the tank of your dreams to start blasting your way through the deluded followers of the war master or the mewling lackeys of the emperor. Right on. So it says, what's more, you'll also be able to use the new Sakaran in your games of Warhammer 40k. Awesome. It already has a profile which can be found on Warhammer 40k, the app. And it can be deployed both by Loyalist Space Marines and Chaos Space Marines. That's very cool. I am digging this new tank. Definitely a brief one for today. You know, it is just a Horus Heresy preview. But yeah, I think this is a really sweet addition to the arsenal of all your options for the new Horus Heresy. But what do you all think? Are you digging this model? Are you expecting something more? Do you have any pros or cons to this? Definitely add those to the comments below. But yeah, that's it for this one. If you've enjoyed this content and haven't yet, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and sharing this content with your friends. It really does help with the growth of the channel and it's greatly appreciated. Well, as always, if you're looking for content that's related to the Horus Heresy, Warhammer 40K, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Kill Team, Warhammer Underworlds, or even Blood Bowl, this is definitely a channel to keep coming back to. I'm always posting new content related to those games, and in the future you'll see more content specific to assembling and building your models, specifically for kit bashing and conversion, as well as painting. And of course, miscellaneous hobby tips and tricks. Well, as always, thanks for checking out this episode. I hope you're doing well. Be safe, take care, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.